Okay, guys, I pulled the SCOM out. I've got it over there all packaged up. I'm going to send it back if if uh, something, maybe Corey can confirm if it's shot. I think it is, but uh, anyways, I don't care about that. Uh, so anyways, I've returned the ski to stock configuration again. I've pulled the SCOM off the ECU. There's the, uh, thanks for the input, Ed. The brown wire there with a the black uh, cover on it. I don't know if you can see it. That's a SCOM pin. It's still in there. I cannot get it out. So I, I soldered the SCOM wire that's attached to the SCOM pin to the original wire and then I uh, taped it all up and uh, put it back in and uh, I've already tested it today. I took it out and I just twisted the wires together at the beach after I cut bypass the SCOM. So uh, it just went like a, a rocket and uh, I realized today, once I bypass the SCOM, I'm really happy with this, this ski the way it is. You know, I, I, I don't need to go 70, 72, 74 miles an hour. 67 is plenty, and it just gets up there so fast. I just like this ski so much. So I'm going to focus on learning the ski and, uh, you know, good maintenance. That, that'll make me happy, and that's what it all comes down to, doesn't it, you know, whatever makes us happy. After my ride today, I always take this back section off. It only takes a few minutes, and I always take the ECU cover off. That's just, I also, even though I was working on it, but I always take it off because I like lots of airflow to go through, and, uh, and I'll leave it off for two or three days, but I, you know, I have a sealed garage here too, so... That helps. This thing is like brand new. You know, I kind of feel for the guys that got to keep their skis outside because I don't think they hold up as well. Anyways, thanks, thanks again, Ed, for clarifying that issue on that pin.